I got done with that video talking about some of my grandma's pets, I felt bad because I didn't mention a couple of them. Like Mr. Goatee is one of the bigger male cats that she has. And then um, she had a mama cat show up with some kittens. I don't know how many, if she had like multiple kittens there or if she already had them. I'm not really, I can't really remember. But there was definitely at least one kitten that she still has that she named Rachel. And I'm pretty sure the story was that she was going to be giving that cat to um, my grandpa Tom's. One of his daughters named Rachel. Could be wrong though, and it probably just sound. What are you looking at? Come on, let's go. I think that's what the story was, and she eventually didn't want the cat or just didn't come get it. So my grandma has a cat named Rachel, and then she has another one that she calls Mama Kitty, and then Mr. Goatee. Simon, which I hope he's doing okay. I haven't talked to her or anything to find out if he's still. He was at the vet when I last saw her. And then the dogs are magic and lucky. Sierra today was saying she wants to get the cats from my mom's house. I'm just, just worried about it because, well, we came to the decision that we can't get them right now, obviously, for because of our housing situation. And um, I don't know if they're doing well or how they're doing at my mom's house, but they have the whole house there to themselves now. The cats can roam around the house, and um, they'd like to go inside and outside, so... And they already know that area, like, I, that's stupid, but the cats already know, like, the area. If I brought them here and they got outside, I don't know if they would know how to come back, or if they would want to come back. There's a lot of, um, not a lot, but there's a few of these cats that kind of seem a little bit feral, and I've seen them all around the block now. You can see it. Let me. There's a kitten or a younger cat. Come here, baby. Right there. Maya likes to come out into the shed. And Maya was actually where that cat's at right now. And the kitten came climbing through here. It's okay, baby. Come on. I think I'm just afraid of Maya. I think if we step out of here, it'll come out. But I want to make sure it's okay. It's not like a kitten kitten, but it's a very small cat. I sent a message to Sierra to come out here to look at it. Maya, you gotta leave it alone. You're gonna scare it away. You're... Come on, let's go. I don't know. The neighbors down the road have these cats. I see them all over the, uh, the neighborhood. They look kind of like little Bengal cats, like they have the, um, the markings that like Savannah and Bengal cats have, where it's more defined. Come on. But there's all these little cats around here. That the, the, both the boys at my mom's house, boy cats are both fixed. They had like the cat snips program and they... Paid twenty dollars to go get them fixed. That's actually what we did with our cat too. She's fixed too. So that'd be a one one of the pluses of getting them because they're already fixed. And you wouldn't have to worry about it. But I just worry that they would be too confined. And then Scout Kitty Girl. We're trying to call her. Go back to calling her Scout because that's her actual name. But we just got so used to calling her kitty girl after a while. But anyway, we wouldn't want to overwhelm Scout and have her be angry. And she already kind of acts like she's too confined. You're okay. I know, it was loud. 
she already acts too confined and cries and we have to let her out the bedroom door to roam around the house. I just worry that if someone else moves in, Sorry, we stopped because there's two cars. I tried to get off the side of the road a little bit. But, um. Yeah, I worry about if someone else moves in that she's gonna try to get outside. Because when I come back in with Maya, she tries to come out the door sometimes. I don't know if it'll happen today, but maybe I'll. Well, I end up going out the back door. But I guess I could try to go in the front door and see if she comes out. I just really hope we can figure something out. I really keep just wishing I could just like come into some money and buy a house. Like I know that's crazy. That's never gonna happen. It doesn't work like that. I'm not an idiot. I just keep feeling like if I put out some type of positive energy, like some type of just something out there into the world, that maybe I'll get something figured out. I don't make very good content on YouTube, it's just me walking the dog. It's not really high quality, something that people are out there looking to watch and subscribe to. And I can't even go live and do anything else different until I have a thousand subs and like 40,000, sorry, like 4,000. I think it's hours of play, which sounds ridiculous. I feel like maybe it's minutes, but I'm not sure. YouTube actually changed all that up a couple of years ago. It used to be that when YouTube started, you could just monetize and everything as long as it was your original, non-copyrighted to anyone else um, material. You could monetize it right away for the most part, I think, with the AdSense. And now you have to have a certain amount of time. You can't even change your URL until you have 100 subs. And I think I still have 50, so halfway to that. But maybe that's a blessing in disguise. Maybe I need to come up with a better URL because I was trying to just do like board M. I don't know if it's necessarily a pun, but just board and then M, which is what I'm going by, like M, Emily, whatever. And uh, also boredom. Kind of like play on the word boredom, boredom. That's where I was going with that, but that could change. I'm open to suggestions and whatever else. We're getting there. We're almost back home. Sometimes I like to jog through this little stretch, but I have just these boots on. I don't have tennis shoes on, and I'm already pretty sweaty because... I put on a sweatshirt today. What are you trying to get? Hopefully it's not a snake or something. Sierra kind of made me concerned about letting her go down in there by herself because she was like, this is kind of swampy, marshy area. If she gets... Um, it's near a snapping turtle with a killer. I think it definitely could do a lot of harm to her if she got near one. So. Trying to be a little more careful. Not let her go down in here. Cause she likes to go down into this stuff. That's definitely somewhere that a turtle would probably like. Right, Maya? Gonna have to stick her in the tub or just wash her feet off with a wipe or something. <laughs> so, anyways, thank you guys for watching if you've stuck around this long and saw everything. It's not really much, just a little walk. I don't know what's gonna go on with her housing situation. 
I guess I mainly just need to work on music, making sure I have videos edited and uploaded consistently. If anyone ever came across these and actually had enough people watch them to monetize. I'm very weary about finding another place on Craigslist, but that might be the next step. And then it's just all the packing. Now if I was going to my own house, or somewhere where I already trusted the people, I wouldn't really worry about packing as much, but just having the thought of having to pack to move somewhere else that might be just as shitty, if not worse, is really nerve-wracking. It almost seems like it's draining my energy just thinking about that idea of having to pack and load it up and go somewhere and find out it's just, just as bad. I just wish it wasn't so hard just to get a house. Like, to have a secure property, a secure area for your things, and to be happy, and not have to worry about drama and dealing with other people. Like, I don't blame Sierra's brother for saying, oh, I would let you move in, but I don't want to, you guys seem to bring a lot of drama with you, and I don't want to buy a new house just to rent out a room and have to deal with people. Like, he's dealing with his own stuff. I don't think I should really talk about it. Because I doubt he'll ever see this YouTube channel. But if he did, I wouldn't want to upset him. But he kind of deals with... He drinks a lot. Not... I don't want to say that. Like He drinks alcohol to cope with his problems. So, I think he kind of likes to seclude himself and be in his own little... Be on his own and have his own area. And I have to deal with other people... And probably, it, it, it's not probably, I was going to say a different sentence, but I'm just thinking, it's definitely for the best if Sierra didn't live with him. Because I think being around a family member that drinks all the time would probably cause some a more emotional stress for her. Being around her brother and him not being sober enough and... I mean, it's one thing if you drink and you're, you're, um, you're in, like, your early, mid-twenties. I get that. I get even drinking in your thirties and forties and on if you do it, like, socially or occasionally, but it's another thing when you work from home and you just drink all day or you, as soon as you get home, I don't know if she should be doing this right now. I've been talking and this is not good. Maya, come on. You're gonna get us in trouble. You're gonna get us in trouble. Stop. Stop. Come on. Okay. You're gonna keep moving. This thing is moles. She's trying to get molds. So he likes to get moles, mice. I haven't seen her get a full size rat, but I'm sure she would try. Although she was afraid of her pet rats. But she just likes to get vermin and. Ew, no, that's like hair from something. I don't know. Come on. Yuck, yuck. Come on. I was just talking and not paying attention to the dog like I should have been. Yeah, I hope her brother doesn't watch this. I doubt he will. Because I don't want to upset him. I don't want to... Even though he's kind of a jerk sometimes. Like, he was like saying we're drama and like telling us we gotta do this or that and trying to give us advice that wasn't really sound advice. <sighs> I don't want Sierra to have to be around that. Even though it would technically be a better living situation than here but then she'd have to be around someone who's constantly drinking. And when you're not sober people say and do things that they wouldn't normally do. Every time he would get drunk and call Sierra on like a Friday night, he would say, oh yeah, we can move in together. And 
we can get an apartment together, or we can do this, or we can do that. And then, the next day when he was sober, he was like, oh yeah, I'm sorry. Like, he did not remember what he even said to us. And it would get her hopes up. And eventually we're like, okay, we're not even going to do that. Like, it's not an option at this point anymore. And it would make me feel uncomfortable to have to live with him as well. Okay, come on, let's go back. Come on, little crabby. Let's go get water. You're thirsty. I just want to live in a safe, sane environment to a certain extent. I know that's not... It doesn't matter if things are a tiny bit hectic sometimes, because that's just how life is, but somewhere, and I'm not a very controlling person, but somewhere that I have control over my own destiny, my own living situation, I don't have to worry about someone coming over and taking my things or telling me what, when, where, how I need to do something, because I'm an adult. I know sometimes I don't act as mature as I should. And that's mainly just like when I'm at home around Sierra. Sometimes I act act like a goofball or like an idiot just to get rid of some of the, some of life's uh, damn mosquitoes. Just to get rid of some of life's stresses and make things a little less serious, even though life's serious for the most part. that is probably perceived as me not being mature. But I think it's kind of like an escape. Also, it's like... I'll admit sometimes I just don't know how to act in certain situations. Come on, little digger. Let's go. Digger. I said it with a D. Hopefully that's, tr that's clear. D-I. Come on, digger. Let's go, diggy. After I said that, I'm like, uh, maybe I should clarify that's what I said, just in case. You never know. Oh, come on, trucks. Stay on that side. Alright, we're almost back home. finish up doing stuff around the house, maybe pick up the guitar in a little bit, and tomorrow's that open mic. I only went once and I didn't go last week, so I probably should, come on, probably should go tomorrow. So I should probably practice a tiny bit. Alright guys, well it's definitely been at least 45 Probably a 45 minute video. I actually had to restart a new video over, so I'm gonna go back inside and kinda splice these videos all together. And, I'll, and it'll probably take, if this video gets uploaded tonight, it probably will be like 10 o'clock by the time it does because it takes forever. Unless I drive into town a little bit. It takes a couple hours to upload one little video. Alright, well I guess, guess I hope you guys had a great Monday. And I hope you guys go into Tuesday or are going into Tuesday in a good mood. And hope the whole week's good for everybody. I don't know what I can do different to make my week better, but I'm going to try to figure something out. Okay, Maya, let's go get water. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll talk more with you guys later. Alright. Maya, bye. Alright, bye.